A group of local artists is headed to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, after finishing their highest profile painting. The Indiana chapter of the World Organization of China Painters. <laughs> Who knew there was such a thing? Right. Emily Kinzer knew there was such a thing. What are they doing, Emily? <laughs> yeah, guys, well, they're really excited about this project. They've hand-painted 100 plates that's going to be added to the permanent collection of China in the vice president's residence. Now, this is the same group that painted for the Pence family when they were in the governor's mansion. Maybe you didn't know that either. Their work dates back to the O'Bannon administration in the early 2000s. They painted place settings with Indiana wildflowers on them for the O'Bannons. Well, when Miss Pence became first lady of Indiana, she liked that China so much, she reached out to them so they could do more. So now that they're in Washington, the group has painted 100 plates, each featuring a state flower. They can use it at cocktail receptions and, and uh, any kind of uh, parties or, or whatever. So there may be some ambassador from uh, Africa that eats off of my clover. Now, the group tells me they've been painting for weeks to get the project done. The back of each plate features the artist's name and where they're from. They say they're excited to have their work added to a permanent collection in the vice president's residence. All of those plates will be on public display if you want to check them out. They'll be in the Art Sanctuary in Bartonsville on March 16th and 17th, and then April 23rd is the big day. That's when they'll go to Washington for a coffee reception at the vice president's residence. It all looks lovely, and what a wonderful story that now follows because of it. Emily, thank you. 535.